many ways to clone, but it's always good to have a system in place, so don't get confused. It can be, be quite confusing if you don't have a system for when you're cloning, modifying, and updating. From time to time in Integra Matt, you just want to clone a scenario. You've worked it through, you've done a lot of work, you got it set up, it's working well, but you want to change the input or you don't want to recreate it from scratch. So what you need to do is find your scenario, go to this drop down, left click, and click on clone. By default, this will be turned off. I like to turn that on so everything is mapped and it's completely similar, identical to the one you're copying. But by default, if you go all the way to the end, it shows copy. So if you click clone, you'll be able to find that in your dashboard under all scenarios. But to find it, you'll need to type in copy. So the issue being, if you need to, if you clone a lot of scenarios and you're a bit lazy and you don't change the, the suffix, you're going to have many scenarios that will have the copy at the end. You might just get a bit confused. So what I like to do is delete that entirely. I like to go to the start of it and just type in something like ZZ, doesn't matter what it is or even AA. That way when I search for it, I can just type in AA and it should only return this one here, the most recent one that I copied. So if I clone that, there it is. But if you try and find it later on, it's not gonna be in the same folder. So if you click on scenarios, or if you recall, it's under bookings. So it's not there. So it's just going to dump it into the all scenarios section and you might have a hard time finding it because you need to sort through all your scenarios. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot. So how do we get around that? So if you recall, we just put in AA and here we are, it's this one here. So from here, I'm going to move it to the folder where the other ones are to move so it should be under bookings so now there's three so this is the one I'm working on so it's the copy of of this one replace this one here so what I might do is just click on here copy it I'm going to do alt and back Go back to where I was. Can disable that one. Going to click on here. Go up here. Copy that in. Going to modify it how I want it. So in this case here, the whole reason why I copied is to save time. But I'm going to replace first trigger. So I'm just going to go. Right click, left click, just looking for form 8, OK. So this is referring to the old webhook, recall it is cloned. So we want to find number 8, it's this one here, to OK. Turn it on, use auto align and save. Now we'll go back, we'll delete the old old one we no longer want so to go back we just do alt and left alt and left and back here so remember we switched it on so it's this one here so I'm actually going to delete this one here which is now redundant so that's how we clone many ways to clone but it's always good to have a system in place so don't get confused it can be, be quite confusing if you don't have a system for when you're cloning modifying and updating hopefully that was helpful